Australia is blessed with great renewable energy resources, both from a from a wind perspective and from a solar perspective. You know, I, I speak to colleagues in the in in the US and in Europe, and, and we compare you know what the the wind speeds in Australia are, and, and they're amazed that, that that they're so so good and and well located to where the load is. So so I think for Australia, you know, we got. Um, potential to have um, competitive wind done, I think that'll be the majority of it, and, and large-scale solar. And we'll also continue to see an increase, I think, in, uh, in rooftop solar. The whole energy sector has undergone more fundamental change than we've seen in the last 100 years. You know, the, the centralised generation business model that has worked so well for us is, is probably undergone a bit of a transformation. And, and there's two reasons for that. One is the significant and rapid change in technology is creating new alternatives and, and new opportunity. And I think secondly, there's a, a real focus around environmental impacts. And I think those two themes or factors are, are really change, fundamentally changing uh, the energy sector. You know, I think that there is so much change going on at the moment, it's just really hard to, to, to say where it's going to end up. You know, I think if in 2006, no one would have predicted um, $2 gas in the US, and that came about as a technological change in the development of shale gas. Um, I think in 2008 or 9, no one would have predicted what the price of solar is today, again, through uh, the technological change and being able to bring those costs down. So it's difficult to say today that we're sort of finished through the, the technological change. We've got things like um, battery uh, technology and storage still to be fully developed and commercialised. And then I think on the demand side, we've got things like uh, electric, electric vehicles, which really at an embryonic stage, and I think that again is going to have an impact on um, the way that um, the energy market relates to each other, but also create new opportunities for, for electricity demand. You set an objective, you say this is the policy framework we've got, for example, the renewable energy target, setting a target, taking away the, bi the, the biennial reviews and saying, go, go figure out the lowest cost solution to achieve this target. I think that works best because it gives the private sector the opportunity to come in and innovate. Innovate from a technology perspective, but also from a business model perspective. And, and I think the onus is on us as an as a infrastructure technology company to one, continue to, to spend money on, on uh, innovative technology, and, and we do that by spending around $6 billion a year on, on R&D, and then working with our customers to implement that technology into new business models.